Oh my god. Probably one of the biggest free agencies in a while. Now, not only for players, but for goalies. Markstrom, Crawford, Lundqvist, Holtby, Hudobin. Oh, don't and that's not even on players yet. Peter Angelo, Hall, Krug, um, Hoffman, Tyler Toffoli, Craig Smith. The list goes on and on. This free agency is probably one of the biggest free agencies. So I'm like, you know what? So much has happened. Let me make a video on who signed who. So let's just start with Max Domi. Max Domi got traded to Columbus for Josh Anderson. And I think a pick. I'm not sure. But... um. The Blue Jackets re like signed him to an extension for two years, uh, ten point six mil, five point three million. I'm just gonna give my take on the contract. Personally, I think that's too much for Domi. Small player, but he is really feisty, good in the corners. But in my opinion, I would have gave him like four million. But let's, <sighs> guys. Okay, what the no no okay. Josh Anderson. Josh Anderson. So he was a part of the Domi trade. These two. Josh Anderson. Seven years. Okay. I'm fine with that. Seven years. Okay. Signed to an extension. Seven years. He's young. Um, I, I'm sorry. 5.5. Five, five, 5.5 5. 5. 5 million. For Josh Anderson. He scored one goal. One goal in the regular season. And you're going to give him 5.5 million. That's more than Domi. But I would have gave Domi 4 million. And you're giving Josh Anderson 5.5 million. That just goes to show Montreal has money to spend. Why don't you invest, invest in um, free agency? Why don't you go after a player? Then spend all your money on a guy that scored one goal during the season. I would have gave this guy max 1.3 million. Anyways, let's move on. We have a lot to go. I can't focus on, you know, just these two. Matt Murray got traded to Ottawa and then they uh, extended his contract. Four years, 25 million, 6.25 mil a season. Personally, I think that's okay. You know, Matt, Matt Murray's really inconsistent. So, I don't know. Especially in playoffs, he couldn't even make a save. Like, even if his life depended on it. But, you know, it depends what Matt Murray you get. If you get the really hot Matt Murray, yeah, he's worth this. But if he's a cold... But, you know, personally, I think it's a good fit for Ottawa. You know, they're rebuilding. Ottawa's going to be a really good team in the next three to six years. They're going to run the Atlantic in a couple of years. But personally, I think it's a good fit for Matt Murray going to Ottawa. 6.5, I think, is a bit too high. But goalies do get paid more, so I could see this. It's an, it's an okay contract. Um, Kevin Sh Shatin Shattenkirk. I was pronouncing it so well. Now I'm on the spot. Um, Anaheim. Anaheim. I forgot you had a team. But it's all right, I guess. Actually, wait, hold on. There we go. I don't have to point anymore. Oh, sweet. Um, Shattenkirk. Never really heard of him. I'm just kidding. Obviously, he played on Tampa, but... 3.9, I guess it's an all right contract. You know, he's coming off a Stanley Cup contender team. Yeah, 3.9 is about right. I mean, if you're giving Josh Anderson 5.5 million, I think that's all right. Hudobin, steal. Steal. He brought you guys to the finals through all the injuries. That's a steal. 3.3 million. Is a steal. Good job. Maybe he wanted to take took less money to play in Dallas. 
I don't know. But that's a steal. 100%. Kyle Turris. A bit overrated in my opinion. No comment. I have no comment on this. Wayne Simmons. <sighs> Leaf fans are celebrating like they won the cup. We got a big guy. Like, it's Wayne Simmons, bro. You're not winning the cup. <laughs> bro, calm down. I would have gave this guy 700k. He's shit. This guy is shit. He's like John Tavares. He wants to play in his hometown, sleep in his own sheets. But he grow up. But I guess congrats to the Leafs. You got a fourth liner. Woohoo! But you guys didn't win the cup though, so calm your shit, okay? Man, I hate the Leafs. Cam Talbot. Yeah, I guess that's alright. Cam Talbot is a bit inconsistent. Um, 3.66 M's for three years. I don't know. I guess it's decent. Braden Holpe. Wow. I would have never thought this in. This is, in my opinion, a perfect fit for Braden Holpe. Vancouver is getting better by the years. They have Pedersen, Brock Besser, Quinn Hughes, Myers, Bo Hovart. This team, and now they have Demko as their backup, plus Braden Holpe as their starting? Bruh. I thought they would have re-signed Markstrom. But I thought Braden Holpe would have went to uh, Calgary or Edmonton. Oh, shit. What happened? But, you know, good on Vancouver. And Vancouver is going to be a really scary team in the next you know, Well, starting next year. I, I, they're going to make the playoffs. Watch out for Vancouver. Henrik Lundqvist. Man, got to feel bad for him. You know, never won the cup. And if he doesn't win the cup, he will go down as one of the best goalies not to win the Stanley Cup. He's the king. Man, gotta feel bad for him. This is the only year I'm rooting for Washington to win the cup. God, like, look at him, too. He looks sad. <laughs> but 1.5 mil for one year. I guess he'll be a starting goalie. Or he might do half and half. Because I don't even know who Washington's backup is. Actually, no, I do know. I forget, but whatever. Corey Crawford. He's on New Jersey. Two years, 7.8 million, 3.9 for Crawford. In my opinion, yeah, he's out of his prime, but you know what? He played really good in the playoffs. In my opinion, he was so underrated in the playoffs. And if he could keep that momentum going into the season... You know, obviously, I'm not going to say, like, watch out for... Actually, no. New Jersey, I don't even know. You know, they had a lot of hype going into the 2019 season, and they came last in their division, I'm pretty sure. But I'm not going to say watch out for New Jersey this year. Um, no, nah, New Jersey's not going to make the playoffs this year. That's, that's 100% fact, all right? But... Obviously, two years for Crawford. And you even have Blackwood as your uh, goalie. I think they might do half and half, or he might be a backup. I'm not sure. I'm not a New Jersey fan. But Blackwood's actually a really good goalie. He's actually really underrated. But, you know, and you add Corey Crawford in the mix. You know, he's an experienced goalie. He could help out Blackwood. In my opinion, I'd give this a thumbs up. You know, obviously, he still gets to keep his, like, red and black color. Right, so not like Braden Holpe. Like I would, I would never picture Braden Holpe in a blue and and a green jersey. But, anyways, Jacob Markstrom, man, yes, I'm pumped. My f second favorite team is Calgary. They brought back the retro jersey. I'm ecstatic. And what has Calgary lacked in? Calgary has not had a consistent starting goalie. And you bring in Jacob Markstrom for six years. Six mil. I think that's all right. You know, let's see. Brayden Hope is making 4.3. Talbot's making 3 point. You know, yeah. Matt Murray's making 6.25. Um, you know what? I, 
I think that's a good contract, in my opinion. You know, Calgary really needs a starting goalie. They got their starting goalie. I'm proud for them. They're my second favorite team. Let's go, baby. Uh, TJ Brody. So, Calgary lost one, but they gained a goalie. Now, the Leafs picked up TJ Brody for four years, 20 mil, 5 mil. In my opinion, that's a steal. TJ Brody's really good. He could really help out the Leafs defensemen. Obviously, the Leafs struggle in, on, on their uh, defense. But, you know, you bring in a guy like TJ Brody, I don't know what uh, hand he shoots, but I think they were looking for, for uh, Morgan Riley to play with someone, and I think that's TJ Brody. I forget what hand he shoots. I think Riley shoots right. I don't even know. But, you know, four years, five mil... I think that's good, but the Leafs are over their uh, cap now, so they have to release, I think, like, uh, Johansson, Johnson, whatever, how you pronounce that last name, but in my opinion, good pickup by the Leafs, uh, and then, yeah, this one hurt a lot, Tory Krug, he left us to go to the team we lost against the finals last year, this one hurts. I guess, yeah, Tory Krug, you are a snake, bro. You know, I, I said, as soon as, you know, uh, St. Louis picked up Krug, thank you, Krug, but you're a snake. Obviously, big pickup by St. Louis. Obviously, they're not going to re-sign Peter Angelo. Uh, you'll see that later, but, yeah, you're a snake. And then the Bruins, this is the most recent one. The Bruins signed Craig Smith, three years 9.3 million, 3.1 mil a season. I guess it's a okay. You know, the Bruins were doing fuck all during the free agency. They only re-signed Kevin Miller. And he hasn't played a game since 2019. And you re-signed him for 2 million. I don't know what the Bruins were thinking. But, you know, finally we have more depth in our offense. You know, we don't, we only have one line realistically, but, you know, Craig Smith could play on the second or third line. And, you know, we still have t like 12 million in cap space, but we still need to re-sign players like RFAs. But, you know, I'm happy for the Bruins and let's hope we could re-sign more. And then the, I guess the recent news, Peter Angelo is on a plane to Las Vegas. So... I think Peter Angelo will sign with Vegas. If you're going on the plane, going all the way to Vegas, I'm pretty sure you're going to sign with